Hello and welcome to Canada's National Dairy Study Technique video for gait scoring. This is not meant to be a training video, but rather a technique video to go over general principles. This video is funded through Dairy Research Clusters 1 and 2. Before we begin gait scoring, let's go over some basic principles first. Gait scoring should be done where cows have minimal obstacles for at least four strides. If possible, avoid foot baths, turns, steps, and scrapers. You want a flat, straight area where cow flow is consistent. Gait is scored on a five-point scale, which was adapted by researchers Flower and Weary. Under ProAction's Animal Care Assessment, these scores are further classified into three categories, acceptable, scores one and two, monitor, scores three, and requires corrective action, scores four and five. This table fully describes the five-point scale and the three subcategories. Note how the five-point scale is categorized into three categories as described earlier. Cows who score one or two, are considered not lame and are acceptable. Cows who score three are considered mildly lame and should be monitored. And finally, cows who score four or five are considered severely lame and require corrective action. In this table, you can see the definition for each score. You may want to pause the video here to read through them. Now we will provide examples of each category. First, we will go over the category acceptable. These will be examples of cows scoring one and two. Just as a brief reminder before we look at the example cows, a score one, or sound cow, walks with a smooth and fluid locomotion, a flat back, and even steps. A cow with a score two, or imperfect gait, walks with a slightly uneven gait and a slight joint stiffness, but with no limp. This girl we consider a 1 because she is moving with equal fluid motion and is almost completely tracking up. Tracking up means that her back feet are almost completely stepping into the footprint of her front feet. This cow is another example of a sound cow with the point of view from the back. She is even, bearing weight equally on all four feet and easily moving around. The next category is monitor. These are mildly lean cows, or cows with a score of three. A cow with a score three, or mildly lean cow, walks with shortened strides, possibly an arched back, and has a slight limp. As you can see in this video, this cow is not walking fluidly. In addition to being uneven in her back legs, her front right and hind right are moving slightly faster than her left legs which is indicative of a slight limp. This next cow is also not walking fluidly, with her right hind leg taking short, quick steps when compared to her left. She is not bearing as much weight on the hind right leg and so is showing a slight limp. Although cows with a gait score three are in the monitor category for the animal care assessment, they are lame and their feet should be investigated further. The last category is requires corrective action. These are scores four and five cows. Just as a brief reminder, a score four or moderately lean cow walks with an obvious limp, an arched back, and a jerky head bob. A score five or severely lean cow would be unwilling to bear weight on one limb and or must be vigorously encouraged to stand or move. This video clearly shows a cow that is struggling to bear weight on her hind left leg. She also shows an arched back and a jerky head bob. This cow's movement is clearly impeded. She would be scored as a four. This next cow is also clearly in discomfort, the cow on the right, showing very short strides and a low head carriage. It is unclear which leg she is lame on as it appears she is sore on all four feet. Her movement is also clearly impeded she would be scored as a four. This last cow is another example of a severely lame cow. She is clearly struggling to bear weight on her front left leg and demonstrating a jerky head bob as well. 
she would be scored as a four. A cow with a score of a five is not shown. This would be a cow that would be unable to bear weight on one or more of her feet. Funding was provided by Dairy Cluster 1 and 2, Dairy Farmers of Canada, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, the Canadian Dairy Network, and the Canadian Dairy Commission. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video.